right, we're back to do our Excel calendar part two. Now today, we're going to fill in the days of the month. So let's come down here. Let's check our days of the month. All right, we're in August. Let's go down to September. So it starts on a Thursday. And notice that there are 30 days in the month. Okay, let's go to Thursday. Type in one. Now, last time we clicked on it and we copied. But uh-oh, what's it doing? It's putting in the same exact thing. Well, that's not what we want. So let's get rid of that. Now, how can we make it fill for us? When I put in my one, you're going to hold down the control key on your keyboard. Now, when you drag it over it, notice that little plus when you press the control key, there's another little plus sign that pops up above it to the right. Do you see it? Press. Press. Let go. Press. Okay. If you're going to press it down, you're going to pull it over. Look at there. It filled it in for us. So now we just type in four. Hold down the control key, click, and drag. So we're going to do this for the whole month. You could type these in. This is just faster. So I'm going to show you a shortcut so you can be faster. So I'm going to get all these in. Now, again, we're going to go to 30. 30 days in September. Now, we're going to format these. We're going to select this range, the range of A8 to G12. I'm just going to right click and we're going to go to format cells and we're going to do alignment, the alignment tab. Horizontally we want it um, <clears throat> to the left and vertically, which is up and down, we want it at the top. So let's hit OK and voila, our numbers are now at the top left. Now, this calendar will be your calendar, so you will add in something unique, and you will fill it with all of the things that you have going on. All right, so we're going to add in a text box. We are not going to type in the cell because that will get rid of our number, so we're going to use a text box and put it in here. All right, and we have an FBLA meeting. Let's just highlight it and format it up at the top, make it look good. I'm just going to change the color, make it a little bit larger, easier to see. You want it to look, just look nice on your calendar. There we go. It's not quite big enough. Now, if we want to get rid of the line around it, we can click on it. When it makes the four arrows, this formatting toolbar will pop up. The fill is inside. We want to do the outline. If you want to change it so that it's thicker, larger, we can see it. I'm sorry, that's your text outline. Shape outline is what we want. All right, you can change your color. You can change the weight, make it larger, make it thinner, whatever you want to do. Give it a design if you want to give it a design. Come down here, look, dashes. Start. Let's make it black so we can see it a little bit better. All right, dashes. See that? Okay. Now you have a cute little decoration. All right, if you want to change that, if you want to get rid of it and we don't want to see it to make it look like it's actually typed in there, we can come here and do no outline, just like that. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to fill in your calendar with all of your different things. Also, we want to insert some clip art on here. All right, so let's insert a picture for a calendar. You should know how to do this from when we did Word. Go to Insert, Online Pictures, and I want a picture of something for FBLA. I'm going to type that in and hit Enter. I'm going to select this image and hit Insert. Now I'm just going to shrink it down to make it fit on my calendar. If I want to come back and format, format this or make it look different. Oh, but watch this. Look at this. Uh oh, it's messing up my line. Now I have a, a hole in my line. It's messing up where I have my borders. How can I get rid of that? Well, let me show you. I'm going to click on it when it makes the four arrows. Come up here, and this is the fill. Instead of doing a background color on that fill, you can do no fill, and now you can see through it. And so now it won't mess up the stuff that you have, that or your picture, and you can fit it in there. I want you to fill up your calendar with word art, well not word art, your text boxes and your pictures. Have any questions let me know.